Alrighty, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and get started here. Um, welcome, everyone. Uh, thanks for joining. This is uh, our workout today is called Shannon. Um, I think several of you were here last year when we did this workout at the gym. Uh, if you haven't read about Shannon Kent, please do. Um, she was an amazing woman. Um, basically, from everything I've read, just an all-around badass. And um, we are doing this workout to honor her. Um, in terms of equipment that you guys will need, uh, if you're not outside to go for a run, I would suggest having a uh, jump rope. Um, in terms of weights, if you have two different sets of weights, uh, that's great, but I'll talk about how to modify if, uh, if you don't have a lighter set and a heavier set. Uh, if you have a backpack, that works uh, well too. You'll also need some space to do burpees. Um, and that's pretty much it for today. If you have a weight vest, uh, feel free to wear it. I'm gonna put mine on after the warm up, uh, And then we're also gonna get in our kettlebell swings. So make sure you have your kettlebell or uh, your dumbbell if you're gonna use your dumbbell for your swings. So I'm gonna share my screen guys so uh, we can go over the warm up together. So uh, basically we're just gonna warm up the movements that are in the workout. Uh, we're gonna go 40 seconds on 20 second transition. We're gonna start with our cardio. So whether you're running, you can see I've got uh, the rower back here. I'm gonna row. You can use a bike, jump rope, or jumping jacks. I would not suggest burpees because we're gonna be doing those in the workout. We're gonna go into a single dumbbell or kettlebell or backpack thruster, and then our up-downs. Up-downs are basically a burpee, but without the jump and clap, and also you stay in a plank position. Then we're gonna practice our double weighted deadlift hold for 40 seconds, and then we're gonna go back to our cardio, and then we're gonna go double weight thrusters, and then lastly, we'll finish up with some burpees to warm up, okay? Uh, after we get through that, we'll do our 50 Russian uh, unbroken swings. Hi, Liz Hester. All right, guys. So, uh, like I said, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. We're gonna start with our cardio. Uh, and then after that, we'll go into our single dumbbell or kettlebell thruster. Guys, uh, we're gonna get started here in 10 seconds. Two, one, go. So guys, for this next one, go ahead, uh, ladies, if you have 20s, grab 120. Fellas, if you've got 35s, grab 135. We're going to hold in this front rack position. Squat, press. Be sure to push those knees out. And then cover the ears with the biceps. Halfway. Good, last. Next one, guys, is our up down. So this is like a burpee, but we're going to stay in that plank position. Jump forward, stand. Like burpee light. Good. So jump back, stay in a plank, jump forward, stand. Try not to let those hips sag when you jump back to your plank.
Tá, ué. Good. This next one is our double dumbbell or kettlebell deadlift hold. You can go a little lighter as part of the warm up or use your working weight. Uh, working weight is 50s for the guys, 35s for the ladies. You're going to start by deadlifting them up. Go. And then we're just holding. Keep the shoulders down and back. Nice, proud chest. Try not to let yourself sag. It would be easier to breathe, keeping the chest up. 10 more seconds. And deadlift them back down. Good. Guys, back to our cardio for 40 seconds. And three, two, one, go. go double dumbbell or kettlebell thrusters okay so ladies if you have a pair of 20s grab those fellas pair of 35s you've only got one heavy weight you can go one arm and switch every rep or every five reps or you can hold two-handed Ten more seconds. Okay, relax. Last one is our burpee. Chest and thighs will touch. Jump and clap at the top. If you need to modify, just step back, step forward. You can stay in a plank. Remember, try to keep those feet wide, like you're in your squat stance. Jump back, feet wide. Jump forward, feet wide. Halfway. Nice work, guys. Go ahead and grab a sip of water if you need it. Welcome, Heather Kronk. All right, guys. So next part here is our 50 unbroken Russian swings. Getting to the end of the month. Hopefully, if you have extra weight, you've gone up in weight a little bit. 
You can always swing a little higher and go to forehead height, or you can go overhead too. The weight's gotten really easy for you. Remember, squeeze the butt at the top. Hike through those legs. Okay, guys, we're gonna get started in 10 seconds here. In three, two, one, go. Nice job, guys. Go ahead, grab a sip of water. If you are wearing a weight vest for this, now would be a good time. Throw that on. All right, so guys, I'm gonna share my screen, talk about the workout for today. So, like I said, today's workout is called Shannon. Uh, so, last year when we put this wad together, uh, James had said that some of her favorite exercises were burpees and thrusters. So we have burpees and thrusters today. Uh, she also loved to run. So if you are outside and able to get out for a run, that's great. But if not, uh, whatever you're doing in the warm up works just fine. So guys, this is gonna be a 35 minute AMRAP. The 35 minutes uh, is the age that she was when she died. Uh, you'll start guys with a one minute hold. So this will be a double dumbbell or kettlebell or backpack deadlift hold. Guys, if you have 50s, use those. Ladies, 35s. Um, if you only have one kind of heavy dumbbell, then you can just hold it with two hands in front of your thighs, or you can hold it in one hand for 30 seconds and then switch to the other hand for 30 seconds. Uh, either of those is fine. After that, you're gonna go into 16 burpees. Then 200 meter run or one minute of the cardio of your choice. And then to finish off the round, you're doing 19 double dumbbell or kettlebell or backpack thrusters. For the guys, this would be 35 in each hand, ladies 20 in each hand. If you only have one heavy weight, just like with a deadlift hold, you can go single-sided, maybe switch reps every five, 
or so. Or you can hold two-handed here in this front rack position. Uh, if you have a weight vest or body armor, wear it. 20 pounds for the guys, 14 pounds for the ladies. So your score is going to be your total number of rounds and reps. Uh, as we're getting kind of situated here, I need to get my vest on. Uh, feel free to shout out if you guys have any questions. And guys, I'll have uh, some music on. Might not be super loud. If you wanna have your own music, totally feel free to do that. All right, cool. Let me just check the chat. All right, cool. Looks like nobody has any questions. So with that, if you have your own timer that you're using, uh, make sure that it's counting down from 35 minutes, okay? okay. All right, guys, so good luck, have fun, move well, remember, why we're doing this, and uh, I'll see you guys in 35 minutes. 10 seconds, guys. We're starting with that hold. Two, one, go. Remember to try to keep those shoulders down and back, just up. Thirty seconds. If you need to set the weight down, that's fine, but just make sure you get in a full minute for the hold. After this, we've got 16 burpees, 10 seconds. Three, two, one.
Thank <laughs> you.
Nice job, guys. You have 11 minutes left.
Guys, let's uh, take a minute so I can catch my breath. We can catch yours. 
Grab some water. Are we counting the carry as one rep? Uh, here, one second. Sorry. Okay, guys, awesome job. Especially if you are wearing a vest, that makes all things harder. First time rowing with a vest, it's a little hard to breathe. Okay, guys. So, you're gonna get, I think just one rep for the deadlift hold, okay? By the way, the one minute of deadlift hold represents January. That was the month that Shannon was killed. 16 burpees was the day of the month. For the 200 meter run, we're gonna count that as 20 reps, okay? Because that's the start of the year, 2019. So the 19 thrusters, is for 2019. Okay. So I had five plus seven. Uh, Eric, what'd you have? Five plus 17. Oh, you beat me. I know. Just barely. <laughs> I, might, I might have gone out to run if I knew I was going to get a few reps, but I didn't think I was going to, I knew I wouldn't make it back in time. Yeah. Um, thrusters are not my favorite in case oh. you couldn't tell. I had to break mine up into sets of three and even four sometimes. I don't know why. It's just a hard movement for me. I did three fives with the four and it was hard to keep your torso up with the weight vest on. I felt oh, like. Oh yeah. And breathe. So. I was really tilting forward. Uh, how'd Nicole do? What'd you do? I did four rounds and I got zero. Four rounds and the run, right? So 17 and 24 plus 37. Okay. And what'd she, she use did, for the deadlift? For the deadlift, she did 30s. Okay. And for, she subbed out just fr uh, front squats with 15s for the um, thrusters. Yep, I saw that. Okay. Cool. Uh, Steph. Um, so I did um, seven rounds plus, um, I, I'm sorry, I missed your thing. I did one hold and seven burpees. I don't know what that so is. Eight. Okay. That's eight. Um, yeah, and I did one 35 on both things for the hold and then 135 on each side. Got it. And your vest, right? And my vest, yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, Kronk. Five plus 17. And uh, Heather, what'd you use for your deadlifts? Um, a 50 pound barbell. Nice. And then uh, for the uh, thrusters? For the thrusters, I used one 30 pound dumbbell. Got it. And LJ. Uh, six rounds even. Did 35 for the deadlift. Yep. Uh, 15s on the thrusters. Okay. And Teresa? I had um, five rounds plus six reps. I did a 25 pound deadlift and a thruster with 12 pound. Got it. And how James do? Uh, he didn't count. Okay. <laughs> I never count. He never counts. He's more theoretically against counting. So he's gotcha. Oh, that's fine. I saw his vest. <laughs> he was looking yeah, good. He's wearing the weight vest. So. <laughs> and then what's your boyfriend's name? Uh, Chris. He didn't count either. Okay. They're re they're rebelling. Just give them smiley faces. We got it. Smiley faces. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. 
Uh, so guys, good news. We are going to be allowed to do uh, outdoor classes starting Monday. Uh, I'm doing a couple of test classes with uh, some people who have expressed interest. You know, they like, oh, if you can do an outdoor class, I'd love to do it. Um, and so I've just invited a few people to one class in the morning and then one class in the evening. Uh, we're just going to kind of test out spacing and other things. Um, each station will have their own cleaning supplies, your own little rag and disinfectant. And uh, everyone's also going to have mats. We're going to be at the gym. We're going to be in the parking lot. And then also, if you remember, there's a grassy area uh, there in the, by the parking lot. So we're just going to kind of take that over. Uh, I ordered thick mats, like the kind we have in the gym. So each person's going to have mats. So you're not going to be doing burpees on concrete. It'll be like you're in the gym. Uh, we will also use the barbells. That was the other reason I got the thick mats, so that we can drop weight if we want. Um, and we have a couple other things that we're working on, which I'll tell you about later. <laughs> Um, I know Heather and Eric, I've talked to you. Uh, Lecester, Teresa, if you guys are interested in testing out a class this week, you can give me a thumbs up like Teresa did, or you can give me a meh, or a yeah. no, that's fine too. Yeah. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> it is, there's certain times of the day when uh, the parking lot is shaded, uh, okay. which luckily is in the evening, um, early, early morning. Uh, but then the middle of the day, it's brutal. So yeah. I doubt we will be having a noon class. <laughs> okay. uh, the other obviously big factor is the like weather. Uh, if it's raining, I'm not going to have my stuff outside. Just not going to do that. Um, so I would say kind of be patient um, as you guys all are. Be supportive. Um, if you have questions, please let me know. If you have suggestions, let me know. Okay. Any questions? Okay. Guys, just wanted to say thanks again for joining me today. Also wanted to uh, remember Shannon Kent. I can't stress it enough. If you haven't read the Washington Post article that I linked to in my email, um, she was just an extraordinary person. Uh, I'll put it in the private Facebook group as well uh, so that you guys can read about her. Um, she left a husband and, and two young boys. So um, as always, just kind of keep her and others uh, in your thoughts and just kind of think about why we do what we do. Teresa, James, thank you guys so much. Sorry, I'm sweating so much. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, Heather posted in the chat group, so feel free to check that out, guys. Uh, I'll stay on for a minute if anyone has any questions or concerns. Thanks, Beth. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks, Heather. Thanks, everyone. Have a great weekend. Thanks, Teresa. Thanks you too. a lot. Take care. Thanks, Eric. Yep. Bye, Nicole. Okay. Uh.